So here is a perfect opportunity to talk to you about the the shots around the green and the basic chip and your 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 shot choice. So here we've got probably 15 yards of green to work with and we've got about five yards into the front edge of the green. So we could play our lob wedge. Um, I've got a 58 degree lob wedge here and we could land it up close to the flag and get the ball to stop and it would look very nice with it checking up by the hole. Um, but if it goes wrong, if I just catch it that little bit too thin, there's a big drop off at the back of the green and we've then got very tricky up and down from the back of the green. Um, so what I would tend to lean towards is actually playing this shot with a pitch and wedge, nine iron or eight iron, and landing the ball about a third of the way there and then allow it to roll out to the hole. That all depends on the speed of your greens and how soft your greens are. Well, we're at a Lynx course here, so the greens are firm and very quick. So I'm gonna land this just over a third of the way to the hole and watch the ball then just, just run out to the hole. So we're gripping slightly further down the handle, feet close together. Wrists are nice and soft, but we're, we're just rocking back and through with the arms, turning our body nicely, not really using too much wrist for this shot. Pick your landing spot. And then just try and land your ball, golf ball on your landing zone. So there's the basic chip. So we've landed that just over a third of the way there. The ball's rolled out nicely to the hole. We're taking a shorter swing, um, which then helps us improve on our strike. If we take the lob wedge, we're gonna take a bigger string, so there's a bigger swing, so there's more chance of a missed strike there. Um, pretty happy, ball's not too far away from the hole, and uh, we've got a chance of getting up and down.